The second prescription for peace is to postpone. Postpone thinking about problems. Some problems increase when you think about them. Some problems need to be forgotten about to be solved. Don't look at them when you're upset. It's not the end of the world. Someone may be anxious because of his debts. It's not easy, but he won't be able to think because his emotions are high. He can postpone thinking about it and think about something else that's positive. Provide a service. Fix something at home. Don't think about it for a while. I don't say don't think about it at all, which is escaping. Science says that too. If you could sleep deeply, you would be able to wake up and think straight. So if you lost your peace because of a problem, leave it for a while, please. It's in God's hands. It's bigger than you. Sometimes your hands are too small. A child once went to his father, and the father told him to take a handful of candy in front of him. This child told his father, Give me a handful of your hand because it's bigger. Likewise, God's big hand will carry the problem. Also, postpone reactions. When you get angry, don't, don't talk now. If you talk, you will mess up the whole situation and lose your peace. If you act immediately, peace will be missing from all the relationships. Why do you let someone steal your peace while driving? Postpone reactions, even for minutes. I'm not saying hours, just minutes. If you let yourself have a, rea a reaction, you won't be sane. This means that you don't think. You don't have breaks. This is what drives people to do stupid things. I'm not saying don't do anything. I am saying postpone it for a while. Pope Shenouda said, When you find yourself angry and want to write a letter, postpone it for 24 hours. You will find it different the next day. Unfortunately, we don't use pens anymore, so we cannot reply to a message immediately and things escalate. If the message is upsetting, why do you reply now? It will be wrong. Leave it, pray, do something else. Read it again at night and you will find it different. Also postpone unimportant things. Cluttering may be a reason for losing peace. Maybe there is no disaster, but you are cluttering your life with unimportant tasks. Half of these tasks may be postponed or done slower. Postpone the things that are less important. For example, a woman with such with so much to do comes and says, I have to clean the fridge today. The fridge hasn't been cleaned for two years, so what difference will it make if you postpone it for one more day? Why are you shouting at the children and your husband? It's not urgent. Postpone it. Many people cannot differentiate between the important and the most important. Do the most important things, then do the important tasks when you find time. And when you find the time, you'll realize those things actually are not even that important.